shape consists of four functions, two straight lines and two parabolas. Determine the equations of the two straight lines stating their domain and range as well. Assume the endpoints are all connected to each other. Okay, so we'll start with this straight line on the left. Okay, and just we can label these points as being negative two and two, and this bottom one is zero, negative two. Okay, so for a straight line, we need a slope. So one way we can do that is use the slope formula and these two coordinates. However, that's unnecessary and a little bit too much work because we can also just realize the slope by looking at the rise over run. Now, another thing we could do, instead of looking at these two points, we could just take this one right here and we can start at the bottom and say we rise two and we run negative one. So therefore the slope of this line is rise over run, which is two over negative one, or simply put just negative two. So I'll write that over here. Um, and we'll refer to that as the left line. Okay, so the slope is negative two. We can also identify the y-intercept, which is already right there, which is negative two. So we'll refer to that as b as negative two, b representing the y-intercept. So therefore, um, y is equal to negative two x minus two. And just as a reminder, that's just coming from the equation y equals mx plus b. Okay, in some places that's y equals mx plus c. <clears throat> okay, so that's that part. We also have to look at the domain and range. So the domain, we can simply just write from um, the leftmost point, which is negative 2, and it goes to 0 on the x-axis. So it's negative 2 to 0. Remember these square brackets... Uh, just means we include the endpoints, okay? And the range dealing with the y values, the lowest y value is negative two, and it goes up as high as two. Okay, so that's one way we can write it. Um, another way you can write it is uh, using this notation, set notation, okay, less than or equal to x, um, less than or equal to zero. Okay, another way you can write it is x belongs in this interval, which is similar to the first case. Okay, so these are all different ways you can write this. Um, and here you could also have written it in the beginning x such that, um, but both would be okay. Okay, so for the right line, we could do something similar. Okay, and I'll just write right line. Okay, the slope now this time is rise 2, run 1. So it's a slope of 2, and the y-intercept is the same. So I'm just going to go straight to the final answer, which is y equals 2x minus 2. Um, and the domain, I'm simply just going to state that it's from 0 to 2. Okay, so we, from 0 all the way to 2 on the x-axis. And the range is from negative 2 to 2, so the same as the other line. Okay, so that's the first part of the question. Um, the next part of the question says, determine the equations of the two parabolas in vertex and standard form, stating their domain and range as well. Okay, standard form, um, it depends. In some places, this is called general form. In others, it's standard. Standard sometimes is x-intercept form. Um, but we'll, we'll go with general form, as that's what I think most people know this as. Okay, but in any case, vertex form, just remember an equation can be written like y equals a, x minus h squared plus k. Okay, so that's vertex form in general. And over here, there is the vertex, and that point is negative 1, 4. Okay, this point over here is 1, 4. Okay, so let's just focus on the left uh, parabola here. So if we, we can start by saying y equals a x, um, this is h and this is k, so substituting that in, that will become plus 1 squared plus k, so plus 4. Okay, so all we need to do now is determine the value of a. Okay, we can do this in a couple ways. One way is we can substitute in another point, so let's take this for example, which is the coordinate 0, 2. Okay, and this will, this, this we can substitute in as x and this for y to determine the value of a. So we would have 2 equals a, um, x is 0. 
So 0 plus 1 squared plus 4. And um, this will simplify to 1 squared, which is 1. Subtract 4 from both sides as well. So I'll show a little bit of work here. Okay, so negative 2 equals a 1 squared. Divide by 1 squared, which you don't need to do. So negative 2 equals a. Okay, so therefore y equals negative 2 x plus 1 squared plus 4. Okay, um, another way we could have done this is there's a little shortcut. Um, it's not that straightforward, but if you understand it, it can save a lot of time. If we have y equals x squared, okay, and you should know, or if you're familiar with this, if you go left or right one unit, you go up one unit. Okay, so if we look here, if we go right one, you can go down one, and there we are. But we can also go right one and down two, meaning the stretch had to be two. And because it's going down, it's negative two. So you could easily have determined this number if you make that connection. Okay, um, the domain and range, well, this is not too bad. It's the same as, um, the domain's the same as this left line over here. So negative two to zero. And the range, um, is from 2 to 4 on the y-axis. So remember, you always go from the um, smallest, it's the smaller number to the bigger number. Okay, and we can also do this other equation in a similar way. I'll speed up in this regard. Okay, so we have y equals, um, the a is going to be the same, so it's, as you can see, it's symmetrical, it looks the same. Okay, but negative 2, um, and it's going to be x minus 1, because we're moving right 1 and then up 4, so plus 4. Okay, so that's the equation there. The domain, really quickly, is from 0 to 2 on the x-axis, and the range is from 2 to 4. Okay, and to be clear, this should be a square bracket. And we just made a little mistake here, actually. There's a square that needs to be written there. That was forgotten. Um, and as well, we just need to finish this question off with writing in what I intended as general form. So let's just look at this one example over here. y equals negative 2. We can expand the x plus 1 squared to be x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, so just a reminder, uh, it's x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. So each term gets multiplied to each term, okay, and plus 4. And now if we multiply, expand uh, this negative 2 to everything, we have negative 2x squared um, minus 4x. Negative 2 plus 1, or multiplied by positive 1 is negative 2. And negative 2 plus 4 is plus 2. Okay, and you could do this a similar thing with this function, um, or this equation, but I will not show that. Okay, so lastly it says if f, or if the top right parabola is f of x, then determine f of 1. Well, you could use the equation we just determined, but another way we could have done this is to just look at x equals 1, because here x does equal 1, and simply just go up on the graph, see where that point is, come over here, and it takes us to 4. So therefore, f of 1 must equal 4. And that's it.